today's topic is gram positive versus gram negative bacteria and gram stain. Here is a typical diagram of bacteria. The three layered bacteria have an innermost yellow colored plasma membrane which helps in membrane transport. It is made up of phospholipid bilayer in which some proteins are scattered in between the phospholipid bilayer. Next to the plasmal membrane is the cell wall, which provides structural support to the bacterial cell. It is made up of peptidoglycan which is a polysaccharide. Cell wall has most important role when we come to understand gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Third layer is the capsule which is the sticky outer layer for the attachment and protection of the bacterial cell. But here we focus on cell wall because it plays a very important role in gram staining. First let's compare between gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Both gram positive and gram negative bacteria has an innermost plasma membrane. The gram positive bacteria has a thick layer of peptidoglycan cell wall whereas the gram negative bacteria has a thin peptidoglycan cell wall. Now look at the gram negative bacteria, it has another plasma membrane which plays an important role in gram staining. The third layer that is the outer layer is called capsule, which is the sticky outer layer. We can find it in both gram positive and gram negative bacteria as well. One important thing is we can treat gram positive bacteria more easily because it has a single layer of plasma membrane but in case of gram negative bacteria, it has double layers of plasma membrane that's why it is more difficult to treat it with antibiotics. Eventually when we talk about gram staining we can observe that gram positive bacteria as purple or violet color and gram negative bacteria observed as red or pink color after gram staining. Let's talk about the process of gram staining. The purpose of doing gram stain is to identify the different types of infectious bacteria. Materials required Overnight culture of Bacillus uraniensis, E. coli Gram stain reagent preparation Crystal violet 100 milliliters. To make this stain we dissolve 2 gram of crystal violet in 20 milliliters of 95% ethyl alcohol. In that we dissolve 0.8 gram of ammonium moxalate monohydrate in 80 milliliters ionized water, then we mix both the solutions to make crystal violet stain. Grams iodine solution. For this stain we dissolve potassium iodide 2 gram in distilled water and then add iodine 1 gram, then make up the volume up to 300 milliliters by adding distilled water. Saffronine to make the stain we dissolve 0.5 gram in 100 milliliters of distilled water. And we require 95% ethyl alcohol. Now we will prepare a bacterial smear. As you can see by using an inoculating loop across glass slime we make a smear using distilled water and air dry it. Next we heat fix the bacteria on the slide by using the spirit lamp or it can also be done on a hot plate for 3-5 second. Then we are now going to add crystal violet stain to the bacterial smear and keep it for 1 minute. Once this step is done we wash the slide with tap water or distilled water. Now let's apply the iodine solution on it and wash with 95% ethanol after 1 minute. Here when iodine molecules come and bind to crystal violet it make the molecule bigger. Then once again we wash with distilled water. Finally apply counter stain saffronin for 30 second. Then wash it with distilled water and observe under microscope at 100 x with immersion oil. Here we can observe Bacillus uraniensis as rod-shaped purple color which is gram-positive bacteria. And E. coli is observed as rod-shaped pink color which is gram-negative bacteria. Let's zoom in and see what happened here. In this stage we don't know which bacteria is present in our sample. We just label it as gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria for our understanding. When we add crystal violet that is purple molecules on tray into the bacterial cell. In next step we add iodine solution which is brownish color. It entree into the bacterial cell and bind with the crystal violet which is previously into the cell and make the molecule a little bigger. Then we wash with 95% ethyl alcohol which is a disdaining chemical. Here what happened to the gram positive bacteria is the cell wall is shrink and the capsule is dissolved and washed away.
In case of gram-negative bacteria both capsule and outer plasma membrane are washed away this happened because of dehydrated nature of alcohol. Here an important thing happened. Because of alcohol wash the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria is so thin hence the alcohol can penetrate into cell and wash the crystal violet and iodine solution. So gram-negative lose their color and look colorless under microscope and gram-positive bacteria looks purple-violet color because it retained of crystal violet stain. Finally we add reddish color a dye called saffronine which bind to the lipidyl-dephospholipid bilayer and we can observe pinkish red color in case of gram-negative bacteria and purple color in case of gram-positive bacteria. Oh, 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 oh,